Arif says the man who set fire to this mosque is 32 year old Joseph Schreiber. Schreiber lives, but three miles from here in a town called Port St. Lucie. But this morning he's being held in jail without bond, charged with arson and what's known as a hate crime enhancement. His social media is filled with anti-Islamic sentiments. This morning, deputies in St. Lucie County say the man who set fire to this mosque has been caught. He's 32-year-old Joseph Schreiber, the same man authorities say seen running from the mosque on this surveillance video, just seconds after flames lit up the house of worship. Deputies took him into custody on the street Wednesday afternoon without incident. He was on the radar because of a tip from a community member. Authorities say Schreiber had multiple anti-Islamic posts and comments on his Facebook page. A July 12th posting reads, if America truly wants peace and safety and pursuit of happiness, they should consider all forms of Islam as radical. All Islam is radical and should be considered terrorists and criminals. Schreiber, who is Jewish, attended Temple Beth El Israel in Port St. Lucie three or four times about eight months ago to study the Torah. But Rabbi Bruce Benson says Schreiber was not a member of the congregation. He was very kind, very uh, open and very accessible. A representative of the Muslim community says they are relieved Schreiber has been caught. And it boils down to hate. We will not judge this person based on what religion they are because we know that it doesn't speak on behalf of his religion. At the home where detectives say Schreiber lived with his parents, investigators gathered evidence Wednesday, including this motorcycle, which they say is consistent with one caught on surveillance video a short distance from the mosque on the night of the fire. Meanwhile, this morning, much of the mosque is just a burned out shell. This was harmful to the community. This was a place of worship. And it was very important for the community that we brought this individual to justice. The hate crime enhanced arson charge here carries a maximum 30 year sentence if convicted. But because Schreiber has been convicted on felonies before, he, pays, he faces what's known as a habitual offender charge, which could land him in prison for the rest of his life. Mm. His parents are said to be in shock, but have had no comment. Will Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.